my friends, Enrico De Pali. This is another Make Secrets with Pro Tools Tips. I'm working on this really cool project by the artist Z from um, California. And I'm going to show you a very um, classic uh, feature in uh, Pro Tools Automation. And it's uh, part of the advanced uh, Pro Tools Automation available in the uh, higher tier Pro Tools version. And um, it's actually an inherited uh, feature from the uh, SSL um, automation uh, from, from the G series and the E and G series called Trim Automation. So let's say I want to, um, let's jump right to it. Let's say I want to make a quick regular automation on this uh, background vocal track. Okay, I wrote this fader as I thought I should. And let's say the, uh, the actual fader rides are all cool, all good, but I decide I want the whole background vocals a little louder. Well, I have two options. One of them is just selecting the automation here and bringing it, you know, louder or softer, and it will keep the moves but louder and softer proportionally now what if i want to ride that fader louder dynamically as as i hear the music without actually undoing my automation i just want to add level or subtract level so i come here and i do trim automation fader jumps to zero let me bring the fader here on the screen too. Fader jumps to zero and becomes yellow. So whatever I do here, it's just going to add to this. Let's take a look. A look and a listen. Okay, as soon as I let go, whatever I did here on the fader gets summed or subtracted, if it was more or less, adding or subtracting, to the original, um, original moves I already had. Now, if I go into Preferences, I'm going to see Coalesce Trim Automation after every pass or on exit, exiting trim mode or manually. Since I have selected after every pass, you noticed it's automatic. You know, after I let go of the fader and stop the uh, transport, uh, the sum or subtraction uh, happens automatically. If I had done it manually, let's do it. You know, whatever I do on the fader in trim mode uh, is gonna write uh, automation to the trim lane and not to the to the fader gain lane to the volume lane let's see that
So as soon as I stop the uh, transport, I notice that the uh, yellow trim line has its own move apart from the uh, fader uh, uh, automation. In order for me to to add these this line to the to the actual fader automation, I go into I click onto uh, onto the track name with the uh, with the uh, right button, and then I go coalesce trim automation. Note that um, it will just become one thing, and the uh, trim automation yellow line will reset to zero, and it will add that those moves to the fade automa automation. There you go. So this is trim automation, really, really useful in the classic automation mode. Once you already have a lot of automation moves, and you just want to ride faders up and down without undoing what you already had. You just want to be adding or subtracting to what you already have. This is Trim Automation, and I'm Enrico De Pauli with Mix Secrets Pro Tools Tips. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe the channel. Hope to see you soon again. Have a have great mixes. Bye bye.